guys and welcome back to the channel. I thought I would start off by giving you a little chatty intro um, and catching you up on everything whilst I drive to the yard. Um, so I think we last left off that Albie tested negative for cushions, um, which was good news and his insulin levels were low. However, I was doing an extra test to test him for EMS. Um, the extra test meant that Albie would stay in the night before, he would fast for about three to four hours before the test and then the vet brings down a very very sugary syrup that I pour into his um, feed, he just has some chaff with it and he eats the sugary feed and then an hour later the vet does a, te a blood test um, and he gets tested for EMS, this tests their levels when you give them the sugary feed to see if they can cope with the sugary syrup basically I think um, I think that's how it works anyway we did that last week um, and his results come back positive that he does have EMS so if you would have seen on my Instagram I have spoke about it and I am overwhelmed and so so grateful for the amount of people that have spoke to me messaged me commented sent me ideas sent me what I should do what I shouldn't do I honestly cannot thank you all enough and I have got so many messages now that I don't know what to do for the best and I am super grateful for you all so if you are one of those thank you very very much um, and I hope I have got back to you I have tried to get back to as many people as I possibly could um, and it made me feel a lot better that so many other horses you know have EMS it's not just Albie and you know we will get through this and he's going to be fine um, it's just a big shock because it is a bit of a change of a lifestyle it's not going to be as easy as just how Albie has lived his life you know he's lived on dry hay he's got out in the field whenever he wants at any time in the year no muzzle and done what he wanted really um, and also had an easy life with riding however it's all got to change um, Albie has got to be exercised which ha he has been anyway the last um, few months because of trying to get his weight off of him so that's just yeah adding to my day <laughs> of exercising two horses when I bought creme there was no intention that I was going to be riding two horses for the rest of my life but it's fine it's really not the end of the world I am very very fortunate enough to have extra time on my hands because I do work for myself um, and I you know technically do just work from home and can call, kind of work at whenever I want kind of um, thing and I can fit the horses in around my work so I am very very fortunate and a lucky girl for that so it should work out okay um, and it's just about maintaining it and I, I have been a bit deflated about it and a bit gutted because I'm just like oh you know obviously you have to be so careful of laminitis when they've got EMS so like basically you basically spend every day of the year making sure your horse doesn't get laminitis and um, so that's what I've got to do um, which then makes me very wor worried about the other two so like Boo and Creme I'm always checking them, checking their feet, checking pulses every day, am I checking them right but you know touch wood no one's got any laminitis signs so far and we're all good so it's just controlling Albie's EMS which is very very important um, so I'm actually going down the yard now for a new test that we're trying out. So my biggest thing that I've said to my vet is I just want Albie to be able to go back into the field with Creme. How can I do this? Because at the minute he's on a bald paddock with soaked hay every night, which he's fine about. He's coping with, with it fine. However, I would really like my horses back together because I looked at the camera the other night and Creme was actually waiting at Albie's part of the gate, just looking at him. And I know they want to be back together. Um, sorry, someone's just calling me. Sorry, my battery um, ran out and somebody called me. So, yeah, what I was saying was we are testing Albie today to see if he can go into my main field where Creme is because that is what I ultimately want. Even if he has to go in a muzzle on longer grass, then that's what I'll do. I'll put them on longer grass and Albie can go in there with muzzles. Um, yeah, but that is the test. So what my vet has suggested, which she spoke to specialists and they've agreed, we're going to put him out. So he stayed in last night off the grass. I'm going to put him out now um, and he is going to go out there for about an hour and a half to two hours um, and then he's going to come in and have a blood test, which will then test if his sugar levels are okay on that grass, if that makes sense. Um, if they are, then he can go back out in the field with creme. I manage his weight, I manage his diet, manage his exercise, just like normal. Um, but he goes out in the main field so that ultimately is what we are hoping for today so I'm going to go chuck him out I'm actually going to put Boo out with him because Boo stayed in last night to be a little companion for him so 
I'm gonna go put him out with a little boo boo um, and they can have a little play date which they've not had in very very long time so they're gonna be very happy about that um, and yeah hopefully he will eat lots of grass so that the test can come back you know they can read the test and hopefully he copes with it which I've got a positive feeling that he's going to cope with it because he's coping fine with um, going out on the patch that he's in which has got grass in and it's in the same field so this is just going to be a bit more of the grass which is obviously going to be on a bigger scale so hopefully he will cope but I've got fingers crossed that he's going to cope with it um, and if he does start to put on a lot of weight then I will have to muzzle him um, which I don't really want to do but you know what a lot of EMS horses have to be muzzled and this is his new lifestyle and I have to just tell myself you know this is sometimes you have to be cruel to be kind and he's gonna hate me, but he will realize that he would rather that than be in his stable. So it's what we're gonna have to do. So I'm gonna take you down with me, show you him. He's probably gonna go mad. He's gonna be so excited to go out in the big field, bless him. Um, but yeah, I'll take you down there now. I need to get him out ASAP. So I'm gonna go ahead and chuck him in the field. Off he goes. So this is his little patch that he's been in. I mean, it's not very little, but it is, he's quite bald. Um, but he's not really giving me the response I want. I wanted him to be a bit more excited. You gonna go off? He's actually looking a little bit slimmer than he has been looking, so I'm quite happy with how he's looking at the minute. Um, you're gonna roll? I think you are, aren't you? Yeah. Anything or are you just gonna roam around? Straight down to the richest part of the field, of course. You're not silly, are you? Okay then. <laughs> Look at him, he breaks my heart. Look, the, 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 this is my longer part of my field. Sorry if it's quite windy. Um, this is my longer part of my field through here which you can obviously see it's very overgrown and long um, this is actually what I was asking for some advice on um, on Instagram and Facebook to say you know everyone says put them on long grass with a muzzle so I was going to section off a part of this and put him in here with a muzzle until my vet come through with this plan I was like okay let's do it she was like let's test this first because he can just go in the normal field and that's what you want so I've actually opened up a little bit of this as you can see you can see the line of the difference and um, but so that he hopefully eats some of this richer stuff i don't know if it's richer or it's just longer and it looks greener because it's not been eaten on um yeah there's a lot more of it so hopefully he eats some of this which will help with the test but yeah he's he's definitely excited to be out here he can't really he can't really just chill and relax um but yeah please 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 if any of you have any advice have ems ponies ems horses um what you do what works best for you sorry it's very very windy um, i would much appreciate your advice and help um i i totally understand that with ems i think every single horse is different um i think every horse copes different my cousin's pony horse actually has just been diagnosed with ems as well um, and he's not coping with the grass whereas albie is because he's actually out overnight on the patch so every horse is just totally different so i appreciate everyone's advice um <clears throat> and if you're in the same situation as me we've got this and i've just been told that you get yourself into a routine and it's absolutely fine so we've, we've got this and we're going to get through it but yeah i'm going to go grab boo let him go out here with al because he's had the whole night in as well so he can have a little go out in the big field um, they've not been out in the field together for a while so they'll definitely enjoy it um, but yeah, he's definitely munching on the grass. I 
Off he goes. Look, they've noticed each other. <laughs> oh, well, B. Is it your friend? Have you missed each other? Nicely, please. Go on, go and eat together. Off you go. To go standing in the field nearly crying my eyes out here <laughs> at the fact of these two they haven't been back in the field together for quite a while because probably since winter time um, from when I put our bib back with Krem so that Krem could have a friend to make him happier but look at them both they honestly haven't left each other's side and Albie was so excited to see him and that only breaks my heart I need to put them back together I think I need to somehow make a make a way of putting you back with your friend. Are you having the best morning ever? Like, thank you, mummy. This is amazing. I think I might even just put Boo back in with Albie, even if it is in the little patch that he's been in, like the bald patch, because Boo's going to be fine on a little bit of grass. You know, he's a Shetland. He's not short of. He isn't short of, you know, grass or weight, shall I say. So, sorry, I've zoomed in. I'm gonna put them back together because these are so happy right now and my little horses being happy is, is what makes me happy, pretty much. And I think Boo's missed a little friend as well. Um, it just came at the, it just was at a time when Crane was really struggling with his ulcers and I just wanted to make him the happiest horse possible. And I think he was lonely and needed a friend. So that's why. <laughs> Albie went with him and they do love each other too um, but these two love each other even more I think look at them their little heads together look they eat the same bit of grass you two are the cutest little ponies in the world oh look at you both mummy's got to get a photo here on top of him. Ow. They're eating under his belly. That's cheeky. Both. It breaks my heart, honestly. It does. They are just the cutest little things, and I felt bad. I knew I shouldn't have separated them, but I needed to separate them for Krem. But the biggest achievement that I need to make well, sorry, the biggest achievement would be if I could get all three of them together because that would make all three of them so, so happy. 
it's just Albie's very very protective over Boo if you would have seen I don't know if I got it on video or not but when the horse next door tried to come near the near the fence Albie was like and no you're not coming near my friend so that's the issue we've got he's very protective over little Boo it's his little best friend and he doesn't let anyone come near him and that's the problem I had when I tried to put all three of them together last time it helped, it ended in tears and I don't want to relive that moment again I thought Boo was going to get killed <laughs> But we've got to try again. Now that Krem and Albie are friends, I think it may work because Albie has obviously built a trust for Krem. But I don't know. He may not, he may. So I've got to try to see because if all three of them to co could come in the field together, that would be amazing. So I'm going to get on with my poo picking. I've got lots of poo picking to do, but I wanted to do it while they were out so I could watch them. Um, and yeah, the vet should be here soon. And fingers crossed this test comes back. Okay. Are you enjoying your lunch? Good boy. Are you having your lunch now as well? Cheeky boy. And yours. Hey, I don't know if I've showed you guys this yet. This is Krem's new forager from Haygain. He loves it. Helps slow him down, doesn't it, Krem? Good boy. Hey guys, I thought I would um, just fill you in whilst I am driving. Um, I'm just leaving the yard. So yeah, Albie had his blood test. Sorry, I didn't film. I was chatting away to my vet, asking her a hundred questions as usual. She thinks I'm crazy. She's like, you are, you are such a panicker. I was like, yeah, I know. I worry way too much, but you'd rather be extra precautious than not at all, which is what she agrees with. Um, so oh, I'm a little bit stuck here. How am I going to get out? Um, yeah, so Albie had his blood test, he was a good boy as usual, um, and she explained a little bit more to me about the test. So if some of you are probably thinking, I don't really understand what you're doing, what we are doing is a blood test that gets sent to the lab, which is checking his insulin levels. The reason why he gets tested after an hour and a half to two hours out is because the spike of the sugar always happens within an hour to two hours of going out onto the sugar or eating the sugar or whatever it is you're testing for. Because I said, how is it gonna work? Why are we testing just after two hours when he's gonna be going out in that field for like 11, 12 hours? And she was like, because if, if you're ever gonna have a spike, it's gonna be in the first hour to two hours. I was like, right, that makes sense. She said, if, if, if there's no spike in the first hour or two hours, then they're fine. I was like, right, okay. Um, so that's why when you give them the syrupy fee to do the, the, the EMS test, you test them an hour after you give it to them, which makes so much sense. So yeah, that's what we've done today. Um, he went out, he ate lots of grass. He was actually very sleepy when he came in. I think he'd ate so much, um, which he's not obviously had in a long time. So it's like, I keep saying a few weeks, but I forget how quick time, time goes. Sorry if I just had both my hands off the wheel then. I'm not driving on a road, I'm on a driveway. Um, and I'm driving five mile per hour <laughs> for any of the police out there. Um, so yeah, that's what we're testing for. Um, and hopefully he comes back and it, his levels will be fine, hopefully. And then he can go out in that field. Then it's just maintaining his weight with exercise, diet and stuff. So this is where I then come in and do I do a muzzle or not? So I said to my vet, what do you think? And she said, it's totally up to you. You can put him out there, manage his weight. If you think he's starting to put on weight, put a muzzle on him, just put him straight out there with a muzzle if you'd rather. So I'm having a think about it. We're gonna wait to see the results, see how high the results come back, see how low they come back. Then I'm going to decide. Um, but I am going to have a think about trying him with a muzzle because I think when I did try it, I didn't actually show you when I did try it, um, but I did try him with a muzzle a little while ago when he first, um, you know was very very overweight i put a muzzle straight away he wasn't happy within the first two to three days but after that he got used to it it was only that it really rubbed him made him sore which is why i took it off um so yeah i i may try a muzzle and see if he gets on with it because if he does then he can go out in the field and you know be happy and normal in the same routine as creme so he doesn't feel sectioned out i just don't like the fact that he feels like he's not getting as good as the others are if that makes sense because I know he's a little sensitive soul bless him he's my little baby and I do treat him like my, he's my child and he is my child so I just want him to be happy um, and I know Krem will be happier with him back in the field and after seeing Boo and him just then how happy Albie will be back with Boo I'm definitely putting them back together so 
the plan is tonight he'll just go back in his patch that he's been in um he's more sectioned off a bit and i'm actually going to put boo with him because i think they were so happy together and the pat the field that boo's on is no shorter than what albie's on now anyway because obviously boo's a little shetland and they're prone to getting quite fat in summer so keeping him his weight under control is obviously important too so yeah what i'm going to do is put them two together and they can spend the night together see what the results come back tomorrow if albie can go into the big field it would be amazing to get boo out into that big field with them both and then all three of them together and it's happy days but we'll have to see when the results come back um i will update you guys tomorrow um i won't end this vlog until i've updated you i promise i'm not gonna leave you hanging like that but I am actually on my way to a saddlery. So I've been to this shop once before, but at their old shop. So I think they've moved shop. I'm going to Wesley's. Um, they're in Essex. They stock some of the amazing brands like Kentucky. Um, I think they stock like es Escredon. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Escredon? Uh, they stock like Kep hats, Sam Shield hats, um, Cask hats, De Niro boots stuff that you can't really ever get in like local saddleries around here they're the only sort of ones that i know that stock all that kind of stuff um and i usually only get to see this kind of stuff when i go to like shows so i'm gonna go there because i'm gonna try and order some new boots i'm gonna get some new de niro boots and um, i'd like to get a brown pair and um, now everything's brown and i've actually got a new brown hat so we're going all brown now so i'm excited to show you that it's actually a birthday present my birthday is in about four weeks so i can't actually see it until four weeks time but when I get it, I will show you all, and I'm so excited. I've designed it all from scratch. Um, and yeah, so I'm excited about that. I'm gonna go order some new boots, I think, today, because um, I want to see like the colors and stuff in person rather than just choosing off the website. I find it so hard. It's more exciting going to see, um, and it's not far from me. It's only 25 minutes, so I'm just gonna go and have a look at what they've got. Probably fall in love with everything Kentucky because I love Kentucky stuff. I don't like Kentucky prices. <laughs> Kentucky is more on the most expensive side, but I do love their stuff, so I'm gonna have a look and see what they've got. Um, I would love to get Krem into some pink stuff. I know he's a boy, but Palomino's in pink is just the cutest thing, and I know he's gonna look absolutely gorgeous in pink, so I would love to get him the Kentucky pink velvet set, which I feel like they're gonna have it in stock because I looked on their website. Um, but I really don't need any more saddle pads or any more matchy sets. So I'm going to try and resist buying anything and just have a look. But we will see. I will show you a little bit of inside the shop and some of the stuff that they have. Um, and yes, I thought I'd take you all along shopping with me. And I'll see what I've got on the way for a bit of lunch. I've got in m and I've got some Bang Bang Chicken. I've got some chicken and chorizo M. Panadas, I think they're called. And these are the best crisps from MS. If you haven't tried, then you need to try. And I am about five minutes away, so I need to hurry up and eat and drink my lunch. A new page in a story. A new day unfolds. You're standing by my side and the rest is unknown. Bright light leading the way, sunrise on a dark day The moment we can taste it You're standing by my side when all the worlds collide The moment, let's not waste it We come to life
That is literally my dream show jacket for when I start competing. It's nude, it's got bling, it's from this brand. I need to try it on, it is so pretty. literally have the nicest stuff in here look at all the De Niro boots the hats they've got Sam Shield cask they've got kit sparkly hats and then all the boots I've just ordered some brown boots similar to this um which are going to be here in a few weeks Look how nice the Kentucky stuff is. This is the pink that I was talking about. But I really think Creme needs this pink. It's so pretty. Look at that. And then all this Kentucky stuff. I really want this girth for Creme. Where is it? This one. I need this for creme with the matching boots, bridles, it is literally Kentucky heaven in here. Um, and then all the saddle pads, I've got Equiro, and look at this Kentucky velvet blue, Kentucky sparkly, I love this brown, this would look amazing on creme. This brown is stunning, look at that. The green, and then this is probably my favourite colour of all. It's like a minky with this sparkle. This, there is just so many. Escadron, and then all the matching boots, socks, head collars. I love this, it's lovely. And then the dry rugs. Look how stunning these boots are in this colour. These are just so me. They're amazing. And I think I need these boots for creme. Look at these. These would literally suit him so much. They just have everything. Everything fluffy and sparkly. How nice they are. A little set locks to match in the brown. I'm like everything brown I'm finding in here. The dog is following me. Um, and then I found my dream show shirt because I really want to go for the whole pink vibe with the matching socks. I've got the Sam Shield socks and then this. How pretty from Sam Shield. Baby pink. I feel like this with maybe on cram would look so pretty okay guys wow if you haven't been to wesley's go immediately but also please make sure you've got, got money in your bank because they have got so much stuff i honestly could have brought the whole shop like that is i walked in i was like wow this is so dangerous for me she's, she's like what do you mean i was like no, no no this is dangerous because i am obsessed with um anything kentucky and everything in the shop was Kentucky and they had all the colours. Um, did you see some of that stuff? Like, wow. I have been wanting to get pink show wear for me and Creme. Like, just a little bit of hint of pink. Like, I don't I don't know what I want my show colour to be. I, everything's brown with me and nude colours. Um, but I also feel like in the summer I could wear like a, like a pink 
show shirt and she had the Sam the Wesley's had the Sam Shield short sleeve show shirt which I've literally been looking at online I couldn't believe it when I see it I was like wow so that I will definitely be going back for as soon as I go to a show um, and they had my dream show jacket which as soon as I start going to a competition I am going to get for 100% it was the Vecure one um, in the nudie colour which is just so beautiful did you see it I tried it on um, I don't know if you can see the colour well because it was quite dark in there but the colour was unbelievable so I am 100% going to get that because that matches exactly what I want my colours to be um, and they had all the Kentucky like brown boots and brown girths with the fluff um, everything was just yeah unbelievable and I wanted it all I had all the hats as well and um, I fell in love with Sam Shield I've never actually worn or tried a Sam Shield before and I never thought I liked them however I loved them and the navy one with the sparkles was so pretty so I'm very very tempted to um, get one of those as well so it's just yeah going there is very dangerous um, but she has the most beautiful stuff so I managed to order some new De Niro boots. I went for a brown pair with a very fancy um, top on them, like a shiny painting croc print. Um, so yeah, I will leave the rest to show you when they actually arrive. They take a while to make, so they're gonna take probably like, I think 10 weeks to make. So I will show you them when they do arrive, which hopefully won't be too long. Um, but I'm excited to get them and yeah, I got also some of the Dakota riding wear, which I'm excited to try because I hear so many good things about that stuff and hear how comfortable it is. So I'm looking forward to trying um, that riding wear. Sorry, I was just entering the motorway and I have to have all eyes on when doing so. Um, yes, I'm really excited to try out the Dakota wear and I'm definitely going to be going back there very, very soon. As soon as I start competing, I'm going to get that jacket because it was literally my dream jacket and it was actually cheaper than I expected I found a jacket the other night online which was like over 500 pounds and I was like I'm not, definitely not paying that considering I'll be going to some local clear rounds but the price of the Bacure one wasn't horrendous so I think I'll definitely look into buying that one um, and think it will match what I stuff perfectly so very excited it makes me want to I'm the type of person that I need the stuff I need something to make me go and if I have that jacket it will make me go to a show and I do actually have a show coming up at the end of August which I am extremely nervous about and feel sick at the thought of it but it's happening and we're going so I have no way out of it so yeah gonna have to just do it and that jacket's definitely gonna be coming with me for sure so yeah, I had a great afternoon, I'm just driving home now, I'm going to go home for a little while and then I've got to go back to the yard to sort the boys out for this evening and they'll go out in the field tonight um, and then hopefully I'll get Albie's results tomorrow and I will let you all know as soon as I get the results and fingers crossed they're going to be positive results and he can go back in the field as normal. But yeah, I am going to leave it here for today and I will speak to you guys tomorrow, hopefully when I have some results. Hello guys, okay, so we are quite a few days after we last spoke unfortunately. So I think we spoke either Wednesday or Thursday, I can't remember when it was, and we are now on Monday. So what happened was, um, the results were meant to come back by Friday and the the results still wasn't at the lab by Friday afternoon so my vet rang me and was like look we don't know if they're lost in the post or they're just a little bit delayed so let's give it until Saturday and if they don't arrive by Saturday then we're gonna have to treat it as a lost post and retest and I was like great well, that's just my luck that's amazing <laughs> anyway thankfully Saturday afternoon she gave me a text and said great news um, results have arrived at the lab so it's also good news the results come back that Albie was under the amount that he should be so his insulin levels didn't spike too much um, they're meant to be their insulin levels are meant to be below 32 on a normal test and he was 25 which she said that's not even borderline that's you know really good and he obviously is absolutely fine out in that field and he had a good hour and 45 minutes out in that field so 
thankfully I think he didn't spike so we're now on Monday so last night was Sunday and I put Krem and Albie together out in the big field again which was amazing um, and Albie was so happy I was watching them on the cameras he was up and down that field eating all night and I was looking thinking is this the right thing he just looks like he's gonna eat himself to death out there like this is this doesn't make sense how I can do this however it does make sense that you know he his insulin didn't spike up in the first two hours and that's you know the most we, we have spoke about this already but if you're a little bit confused as much as I, ha I am um if their if their levels are going to spike they're going to spike in the first hour or two so we've passed that test which is great news and if anyone else is in this sort of situation the same sort of situation as me and their horse you know their, their levels keep spiking up and you don't know why you can actually do this test for all sorts of things so you could give them their hay that they've been having for an hour and then test them and see if the hay is making the levels spike up you can give them their short feed for an hour and then test them an hour afterwards and see if that's made them spike up so anything that you're sort of worried about and not sure if if it's working for your horse um, you can do this test if you speak to your vet so yeah, my, my concern at the moment was the field, so that's why I've done it for the field. Um, but yeah, great news. Albie can go back out into the big field. It's now just obviously maintaining his weight and making sure that he's exercised and still on a diet and make sure that he doesn't you know, become very overweight and his levels don't spike back up again, which hopefully they shouldn't do. Um, so at the moment he's out without a muzzle. My vet is speaking to some specialists to see sort of what they think on the muzzle scenario because we are approaching scary as it sounds. We're, we're, we're middle of summer at least now um, and then you know end of summer is approaching soon which is scary and what the hell but it is. Um, so the grass should be a lot less sugary um, and they shouldn't really have to be in muzzles at this time of year. Obviously when it comes to next spring I will most probably put Albie in a muzzle either way but at the same time I don't know what situation we're going to be in then so I will assess every situation as it comes. Um, but currently he's out without a muzzle on and we're going to sort of assess it and see what we think. I don't know if to put him in a muzzle or not. Um, I might let him have at least a week out there just being happy and see how it goes. I was thinking I was going to come down this morning after he'd had a whole night out on that field and he was just going to be like in an EMS shock basically and I just didn't know what to expect but he was okay and we went out on a hack today and he was absolutely fine. No different to any other day so you know hopefully it's all going to plan and this test has you know been great and it's a great idea really if you're sort of trying to get your horse back out onto grass um, or onto a certain field for example me I wanted mine on my summer field um, so yeah I'm now going down the yard currently to try and put all three of the horses in the same field now I didn't document this but last year I tried to do this in about June time and it was hell it went totally wrong um, the problem was which was a bit silly Albie and Krem didn't really know each other so I stuck Albie out with Krem and then put Boo in there as well all at the same time so all three of them was meeting for the first time together in a field and Albie was very protective over Boo at that point so it went totally wrong they were chasing each other up and down the field there was kicks getting thrown there was Boo was getting chased up and down by two horses it was just hell and I never want to relive the moment again however I really would love all three four three of them sorry together as you saw how happy Albin Boo were together and I also don't think it's fair to put Krem on his own especially as he's prone to ulcers I've just got him happy he loves going out with Albie um so getting them together is the aim really so I'm gonna try it tonight now Albie and Krem know each other and they've got their boundaries and they I think they've built a trust for each other I'm hoping it's going to be a lot more of a positive situation Krem now knows Boo he, he's over Boo you know when he, when he first seen him he was like whoa what is this Shetland I want to play who are you now he's a little bit like I know who Boo is um, he's stabled opposite him Albie does trust Krem I think so hopefully he's not going to be too protective but I just don't know he's going to go one way or the other and if it doesn't work I'll just have to take Boo back out again and think of another scenario but currently I would like to try them together. I'm hoping they're not going to be too bothered and just carry on eating with the grass and just think, oh, it's another addition to the field. But my horses don't normally do <laughs> easy going situations like that. So we normally have a bit of drama. So I'm sure there's going to be some sort of drama, but fingers crossed it's going to be okay because that would be the dream to have all of them together in one field. So I think it will make every single one of them very, very happy. So let's hope Albie doesn't get overprotective over his little brother and Krem also leaves him alone and doesn't drive him mad because he was obsessed with him last time. 
so yeah that's what I'm going down to do um, so great news basically Albie is Albie has got EMS as you know um, but he's maintaining his sugar levels very well and his insulin levels very well currently he's still on his diet he's on his soaked hay he's um, being exercised most days of the week um, and yeah he's managed to go back out in his field I hope anyone who is sort of going through what I am if you've got a pony or a horse with EMS or you've just been diagnosed also then I feel you we are in this together and um, any sort of advice or you know any anyone who would like to chat I would really really appreciate it as you know I know it's hard and I'm, I'm going through it on my own I don't know what I'm doing I'm just winging it at this point wing total to totally winging it um so yeah it would be lovely to hear from you all and I hope you all try to stay positive as much as you can every horse is totally different I've expressed that so many times because my cousin who is like a sister to me we we do horses together that's we're the only two family members out of my whole family that do horses so it's us two and that's it and um, her horse has just been diagnosed with EMS as well at the same time as Albie so we're doing this together and her horse is suffering totally different to Albie she's struggling to get him out on grass for even a couple of hours so yeah everyone's just in different situations but Hang in there if you're in the same situation. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will show you the boys out in the field and how it goes. Fingers crossed it goes again. straightforward than I actually expect like they was fine at first you probably see there was a little bit at the gate a bit scatty and Albie was a bit like I don't know where to go I want boo but I don't know what to do um but I can definitely see how Albie now trusts his creme and he doesn't see creme as a threat so he was like it's okay I know he's not gonna hurt him but creme straight away became protective and wouldn't let the horse on the left which is in the other field come near the gate and he was like no 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 he's not coming near he's pouring he's no so they just get so protective over him, but I'm just watching him now from my car um, and all I can see is the two big boys eating. I can't see Boo, he's too small, but thankfully I've got my Rio Link camera so I can keep watching them all night. I think they'll be fine, I think they'll just get on with it. My only concern is I've had back shoes put on Albie this week, which none of them have had back shoes on all summer. And this week I've decided to put back shoes on him just because he's quite sore on the stones, just where in the summer he always gets it. And where I'm riding him and hacking him out a lot more now, um, I needed him to be a bit more comfortable. So I put back shoes on and now he's out in a field with my other two horses. But I don't think he's going to maliciously try to hurt any of them. So I'm hoping it's going to be absolutely fine. He has a couple of times, he's put his ears back at Krem to say, please go away and leave him. And he has and Krem's just been like, oh, all right then. I'll leave him um, but Krem did his usual like biting Albie's rug and like playing around and Albie didn't kick him he, he just was like oh, go away so I'm really pleased I think they're absolutely fine um, yeah fingers crossed they're gonna be fine I'm really happy I've always wanted them all three of them in the same field and I was so scared to do it and I've done it and I think they're gonna be okay fingers crossed the next vlog I could be like it's all gone wrong they're back in separate fields but let's hope um, that they're gonna be okay but I also before I end this vlog I wanted to show you something I forgot to show you it at the start and I've got it in my car so whilst I've got it I'm gonna um, show you I got a parcel from Lemure this week of some of their new collections and wow I just have to show you because you will know brown is my thing and I am obsessed with anything brown when it comes to the horses and I've got 
two new brown collections from Lemure. Just have a look at these. So, to start off with, I've got the crystal collection. So, just look at this. We've got the brown fly vowel, the, the ears. Um, you can see the crystally material there along the whole edge. I've got the crystal gloves in black. So I don't think these come in brown. Um, but you can see them there, all sparkly. And then look at the saddle pad. Look at the saddle pad. It is stunning. I think they have this collection in dressage also and they also have it in black and white, I think. So I need the white for our first show. I don't know when that's gonna be. Um, but you can see here, sorry, that's my window wipers. You can see here the beautiful crystal material along the whole saddle pad and it's a brown velvet one and it is so gorgeous so so gorgeous i'm going to show you now the crystal part look at that brown velvet look at it in the sun it is gorgeous now let me show you the next collection because this is my fave. Now I think this may be my favourite Lemure collection, like ever. I used to say Truffle was my favourite but I think this could be my favourite. This is the Pursuance collection, just wow, another brown velvet. But as you can see here there's like a nude and brown piping all the way along um, and a lovely like brassy gold badge. Um, but it's gorgeous, literally my favourite. And then look how gorgeous this fly valve ears are. With they've got the extra long um, points, so they come like all the way down the face, which is gorgeous. I've never put that on chrome, so I'm very excited to try it. And they've got the brass badge on and the piping as well. So yeah, this is definitely I think my new favourite. I think I'm going to actually save this for special occasions or even shows, which is exciting. Um, yeah. It's, it's beautiful and I think it has to be saved for a show of some kind. Just look at that. Sorry, it's not the best angle to show you, but whilst I was in the car and I remembered I wanted to show you, but I just love that nude and brown piping. It is so, so gorgeous. I actually reorganized my saddle pads this week because the little, I don't know if you remember in our moving vlog um, and our new stables vlog, I bought from Argos this wardrobe with like a cover over it, which has been great. However, it unfortunately broke. Basically, um, the my saddle pads were too heavy and the rail snapped. So I brought some new rails, single rails on their own. I put them up in my storage and I've cut the material from the old rail and drilled it into the ceiling pretty much to stop the dust. So I've made my own little wardrobe with uh, the material so that there's no dust on the saddle pads. I'll add a clip um, in next to show you what I've done. But yeah, it looks so good. I'm really pleased with it. So the, the, the rails were literally from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. And put them up myself for my own little drill, little like electric screwdriver. Got my hangers and hung all my saddle pads up, and it's a much more organised situation. So, yeah, I thought I'd show you because I know you loved the saddle pad organisation before. So I'll add that in the next clip. Um, so this is the old rail, as you probably remember. This part snapped off. <laughs> so this is what I've done. I have brought this silver rail from Amazon. Um, this is the material from the old rail, so I've just cut it up and I've drilled it in. Oh, sorry, that's not focusing, is it? I've drilled it into the wall, as you can see, with lots of screws, so I didn't want it to fall down, um, to try and catch the dust. So, oh, there's a fly up there, but yeah, hopefully that's going to catch the dust. And then, sorry, they're not very colour coordinated currently, but um, this is what I've done. I've done a double rail, so there's two. I've got them both from Amazon. There was. There was Quite reasonable there wasn't expensive um this one was a little bit short so i added some wood i did all this myself by the way i'm very diy <laughs> um and yeah just worked with my drill skills and that is my double row of saddle pads i've got some more room to put some more on um 
when I get some yeah thank you so so much for watching sorry it's a little bit like here there and everywhere and I'm adding clips from my phone I'm adding clips from the camera it's a very busy vlog but yeah I'm very happy with overall um with Albie's results and the fact that the boys are now all together I'm very very pleased um I feel like I've spoke a lot in the car this vlog sorry about that but yeah I'll see you in the next one we've got a little um clinic coming up which is exciting so hopefully I'll be able to vlog that and show you that in the next vlog um and yeah I will see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and don't forget to like subscribe and follow us on instagram we hit 10k this week also It's so waiting for you It's so waiting for you It's just the beginning It's just the beginning